Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 29th of October. Indian PM Modi meets top Saudi leadership in Riyadh. Pakistan's former Premier Nawaz Sharif granted eight-week bail in corruption case. And U.S. envoy Khalizad says another round of Afghan peace talks completed. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who reached Saudi Arabia on one-day official visit, was accorded guard of honour at the Riyadh airport. Prime Minister Modi held meetings with top Saudi leadership aimed at bolstering bilateral ties. Modi arrived in the Gulf Kingdom to attend the third future investment initiative popularly referred to as the Davos in the desert. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday reached Riyadh for a one-day official visit and was accorded guard of honour at the Riyadh airport. He was received at the Royal Terminal of the King Khalid International Airport by the Governor of Riyadh, Faisal bin Bandar Al Saud. The Prime Minister later held meetings with top Saudi leadership including Environment, Water and Agriculture Minister of Saudi Arabia. He also met Energy Minister Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman and both talked about efforts to improve energy cooperation between India and Saudi Arabia. Prime Minister Modi arrived in the Gulf Kingdom to attend the Third Future Investment Initiative or FII Forum in Riyadh. FII Forum is also popularly referred to as the Davos in the Desert and is intended to project the kingdom as the future investment hub in the region. While leaders and Wall Street heavy hitters gathered for the annual investment forum in Riyadh with global West disparities, central bank policy and technology in focus. A 23-member delegation of European Union lawmakers arrived in Srinagar city of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Tuesday to assess the ground situation. The visit comes as the international gaze was turned towards Jammu and Kashmir after Article 370 that granted special status to the erstwhile province was revoked by the government in August. India has maintained that the move was an inter internal matter and assured the international community that it was taking steps to normalize the situation. The EU delegation had earlier on Monday also met Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi. Rescue operations of a two-year-old boy who was stuck in a bore well in the southern Indian city of Trichy for almost four days ended in tragedy on Tuesday. He was declared dead by officials after his decomposed body was recovered during the wee hours of the day. A two-year-old boy who fell into a bore well in Trichy city of India's southern Tamil Nadu province last Friday was declared dead by officials early on Tuesday morning. Tortla Sujit Wilson's body had decomposed inside the bore well, a rescue operation for almost four days that involved digging a parallel tunnel to get to the Tortla was called off soon after the decomposed body was recovered during the wee hours of the day. Wilson fell into a narrow bore well at a height of 35 feet and later slipped further down to a depth of 100 feet last Friday. The body was sent to a government hospital for autopsy and then handed over to his parents. Tortla Sujit's family members performed the last rites and he was buried later in the morning. In June this year, a toddler who was stuck in a similar well died in Punjab province despite a two-day rescue operation to retrieve the boy. There have been fresh calls for fines for those who leave abandoned wells open. 
Moving on to news from Pakistan. The Islamabad High Court on Tuesday approved former Prime Minister of Pakistan Nawaz Sharif's bail plea sentence on medical grounds in the Al Azizia corruption reference. Bail has been granted for eight weeks and Sharif has been instructed to deposit two surety bonds of rupees two million each. Sharif was awarded a seven year sentence by an accountability court earlier. The Islamabad High Court on Tuesday granted Pakistan's former Premier Nawaz Sharif bail for eight weeks in the Al Azizia reference case. A plea for bail had been filed by Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz or PMLN President Shehbaz Sharif for his brother Nawaz Sharif. Former Premier Nawaz Sharif last week procured bail on medical grounds in the ongoing Chaudhary Sugar Mills case from the Lahore High Court. Sharif was awarded a seven-year sentence by an accountability court earlier. The former Prime Minister was shifted to hospital in Lahore last week for medical examination and treatment after his condition deteriorated with a sudden drop in his platelet count. In news from Afghanistan, the fourth round of Afghan peace consultations between the United States, Russia and China took place last week, the U.S. Department of State said in a statement late Monday night. Pakistan joined group for a second time. In the meeting, they reaffirmed their support for Afghanistan's sovereignty, independence and territorial integrity. The United States Peace Envoy for Afghanistan, Zalmay Khalilzad, took to Twitter and confirmed on Monday that the fourth round of Afghan peace consultations between U.S., Russia and China was held in Moscow last week. Pakistan also joined the four-party consultations for the second time. During the meeting, all the parties agreed on steps in support of the Afghan people's desire to end war and bring a lasting peace. In a statement with 14 points issued late Monday night, the U.S. Department of State said the envoys from Pakistan, Russia, U.S. and China in the recent meeting on peace in Afghanistan reaffirmed their support for Afghanistan's sovereignty, independence and territorial integrity. They called on all Afghans, including the government and the Taliban, to ensure international terrorists do not use Afghan soil to threaten the security of any other country. Meanwhile, Khalilzad, who arrived in Pakistan on an unannounced visit as part of the ongoing efforts to revive the SALT peace talks with Taliban, met Prime Minister Imran Khan on Monday. Khan assured the visiting U.S. diplomat of Pakistan's all-out support for brokering the Afghan peace deal at the earliest. The U.S. and the Afghan Taliban were close to striking a deal last month, but U.S. President Donald Trump pulled out the peace process, citing insurgent groups' continued attacks against the American forces. Sri Lanka's Attorney General's Department held a fundraising event in Colombo recently to collect funds for children affected by the Easter Sunday bombings. The coordinated attacks across the island nation killed more than 250 people in April this year. Sri Lanka's Attorney General's Department held an event over the weekend in capital Colombo to raise funds for children affected by the Easter Sunday attacks in April. Speaking at the event, Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe said that all those involved in the attacks had been killed or apprehended and the government was drafting new legislations against extremists and terrorists. He said terrorism had affected the entire region and called for more coordinated efforts to tackle the issue. The deadly Easter Sunday bombings took place on April 21 in three churches and three hotels across the island nation, killing around 277 people, including eight suicide bombers and wounded more than 400 people. Investigators identified Zahran Hashim, the founder of the National Tawid Jamaat, a domestic Islamist group, as the mastermind behind the execution of the coordinated attacks. Members of the Sikh warrior order displayed their martial art form on Monday during an annual gathering in India's northern Amritsar to mark Sikh festival known as Bandi Chor Divas. The martial arts skills, including horse riding, stunts, left spectators in awe. Sikhs from across India on Monday participated in a colourful procession and gathering to witness traditional martial art form being performed by Nihangs a Sikh warrior order in northern Amritsar city on the occasion of Bandi Chhor Divas. 
The annual gathering is organized a day after Diwali, the festival of lights. Bandi Chhod Divas marks the return of sixth spiritual leader of Sikhs, Guru Har Gobind Sahib to Amritsar, after being released along with 52 Hindu princes, taken as political prisoners during the reign of Mughal Emperor Jahangir. The event witnesses Nihangs riding horses and elephants and performing various stunts by using swords, spears and other weapons. Shri Guru Harbin Pacha de Jano Ethe Sri Harmandar Sahib Gwalgir de Kileto Rehao ke Sri Amar Sar Sahib Sri Harmandar Sahib Ponche si te Udo Khal se ne jeda bandi chhod de us Diwali da jeda Diwe jala ke swagat kita si Diwali de roop de vich bandi chhod de us manaya si to Odiya baad baad vadaiya bandi chhod de us diya te naali sumuchiya Hang Singh jethe bandiya vallo bandi chhod de usnu samarpat mahan mahalla sajaya janda Odiya baad baad vadaiya. Particular scenes which left everyone in awe were the performers standing on two running horses simultaneously. The ancient Sikh martial art form originated from the need of the emerging Sikh community to defend itself. It was an ideological shift of the Sikhs following the execution of their fifth guru, Arjun Dev, during the Mughal rule. Hindu women across India on Tuesday observed a fast and offered prayers at temples to celebrate Bhai Dooj or sibling festival. The festival celebrates the bond between a brother and a sister. Hindu women across India on Tuesday celebrated Bhai Dooj or sibling festival, which marks the significance of the relation between the brothers and sisters. Women in holy city of Varanasi thronged temples and prayed for the long life of their brothers. On this day, sisters performed the traditional ritual of applying tilak or vermilion marks on the forehead of their brothers and tie holy thread on their wrists. Brothers reciprocate by giving gifts to their sisters. भाई की लंबी उम्र के मनोकामना के, मनो के लिए पूजा व्रत और पूजा करते हैं फिर उनको तिलक लगा के चना निगलते हैं उन लोग फिर ये कूटा हुआ मिठाई खा करके फिर वो मिठाई उन लोग खाते हैं मीनवाल इन नॉर्दर्न प्रयागराज सिटी स्कोर्स ऑफ पीपल टुक होली डिप्स इन रिवर यमुना ऑफर्ड प्रेयर्स एंड परफॉर्म रिलीजियस रिचुअल्स ऑन द स्पेशियस ओकेजन लेजेंड हैज इट दैट द रिचुअल्स ऑफ भाई दूज वर इंस्टीट्यूटेड बाय यमराज द हिंदू गॉड ऑफ डेथ व्हेन ही वाज इनवाइटेड टू हिज ट्विन सिस्टर यामीज हाउस Yami offered prayers to Yam Raj. In turn, he gave her a gift. Agam Jamuna ji, ham log isliye na hate hain ki Bhagwan Surya ke putri Yam, Yami, ye dono log bhai bhai nahi pa milte hain. Isliye bhai bhai no ka ye tevar hai. Log na hate hain. Unhi ke paro mein ham log bhi na hate hain. Bhai Dooj is celebrated after the festival of lights Diwali during the month of Kartik, the eighth month of the Hindu calendar. It is similar to Raksha Bandhan, which also celebrates the bond between a brother and a sister. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. Indian PM Modi meets top Saudi leadership in Riyadh. Pakistan's former Premier Nawaz Sharif granted eight-week bail in corruption case. And US envoy Khalizad says another round of Afghan peace talks completed. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.